All right, good everyone. Today we want to look at a very important question in physics from electric potential. The question is, four identical charges are placed at the corners of a square, 5 cm on each side. Find the electric potential at the center of the square, assuming that each charge has a magnitude of 4 micro coulomb. Now, in this type of question, you have to you have a kind of question, this, you have to draw out the square first, then you say at the corners we have these uh, identical charges, they are the same thing, 4, 4, 4, all true. And remember for a square, all the sides are equal, from here to here, everything, they are the same. Then, they say what is the relative potential at the center of the square? So at the center now, we, can, we are going to take distance between this charge to the center, distance between this one to the center, this one to the center. Remember, electric potential is kq over r. k times the charge divided by the distance between the charge and the point in which you are looking at the potential from. So, in this same shape now, one of the properties of this shape is that all the distance to the center from each of the charges are the same thing. So, r1, r2, they are all the same thing. And let's call them r, since they are the same. The same thing from the question. Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 are the same. Let's call them Q since they are the same thing. So if I break out one of the shape, if I divide it into two now, I have this shape out. If I rewrite this shape now, I just divide it into two. And I brought it out. Then from here to here is five, from here to here is five, from here to here is five, from here to here is five. So I have five, five. Then from here to here, let's call it X. And the arrow will be where you divide the full distance by two. From here to here divided by 2 will give us one of this. It's just R. So I call it X. So for Pythagoras theory, S square will be equal to 5 square plus 5 square again for Pythagoras theory. Yes. Then S will now be equal to the square root of this other side, which is 7.07 .07 centimeters. So from here now, let's look at R, which is the S over 2. When you divide the full distance by 2, you get your R. But R is equal to S over 2, which is this over 2. It's going to give us this. So you could move down to meters now. You have to divide by 100. Then you have it in meters. Then our electric potential at. Okay, let us check. Electric potential due to Q1 and due to Q2, due to Q3, they are all the same. Since the distance between these charges and the center are the same thing, and the charges are also the same. So the electric potential, respectively, will be the same thing. And the charge is 4 micro coulomb, which is 12 centimeters per minus 6 coulomb because micro means 10 per minus 6. So the potential at the center, which is P, will be when you add up the potential due to Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. And they are all the same thing. KQ over R, then plus this other one, plus this third one, plus the fourth one, they are all the same. We have this plus this plus this plus this. We have four of them, which will be 4 KQ over R. This, 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 we have four. We have four of them. So, you have 4 times k, which is the x, that times 7 to the power 9. q is 4 times 7 to the power minus 6 from the question. Then the r, which is the distance between them, 0 0.0354. So, we are going to have 4.1 times 7 to the power 6 volt, or 4.07 times 7 to the power 6 volt. That's what we are going to have. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you.